Hi, biology students. Um, today is Thursday, April 1st. I am not going to be in class today, nor will we have Zoom. So I wanted to go over what we are going to be doing in class. So I know I'm showing fifth period Schoology. Um, eighth period, yours is going to look exactly the same, OK? Um, so the first thing is your attendance check-in. This is just how I'm going to make sure that you are here today. You are required to do an assignment, um, but this is just your attendance check-in. Once I'm finished with this video, you're going to see it posted right here, too, so that you'll know, um, you'll be able to watch it and know exactly what we're going to do today. So your assignment today is this evidence for evolution. So I've opened it in another tab right here. This is question number one. A lot of this, um, this A, B, and C are reviewing what we talked about on Monday when we first started talking about evolution. So this is just kind of a review of what these words mean. Um, you can also reference your notes. It would be a good idea to have your notes open while you complete this assignment. Um, so in this first, or question number one here, you have four questions to answer. Um, this is going to look very similar to something that was in your notes. So that should give you a really good idea of how to answer this question by looking at your notes. Which type of structure did we talk about um, <clears throat> in your notes or in the slides that we showed a bunch of different animal limbs and how they're similar. So what you're going to do is go through um, all eight of these questions. So a lot of this, again, this is the same thing that was in the first question, this, uh, this A, B, and C. And this is just a review. This is just to remind you what these terms mean. And you can reference it as you answer these questions, OK? Um, the third question is the same. Question number four. Um, this is what we talked about on Wednesday in class about um, amino acid similarities with evolution. So this is the reading here is just to remind you, you know, how amino, ac amino acid sequences and relationships, you know, how close, closely related animals are based upon their amino acid sequence. So read this to refresh your memory. Please also reference your notes. So this uh, question number four is just one out of the drop down bar. Five is a drag and drop. Um, you have three blanks and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven answers. So make sure um, you look at this chart closely in order to answer those questions. Um, number six is the same thing, a drag and drop. Seven, another drag and drop. And then eight is a drag and drop. So we're going to talk about um, we're going to talk about this on Wednesday. So if for some reason you were absent Wednesday, Go and look at the slides. Those are posted on um, Monday, the 29th of March. That's where you'll see the slides in Schoology. Hopefully, you were here for the Zoom on Wednesday because that will really help um, jog your memory as far as like what this means and how we know how closely um, organisms are related based upon the number of differences in their amino acid sequence. So this is what you need to have done today. You get two attempts at this. This is for a grade, so this needs to be completed before you leave class on Thursday. Don't forget, Friday is a holiday. Um, so I will see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend and a very happy Easter. Bye.